Good day everyone. Once again, I brought back the Galaxy A71 4G. I was getting a lot of messages to make a video to flash the Project Nerve customized ROM, the official customized ROM for the Galaxy A71 4G, which have a project of the One UI 7. Like after flashing this ROM, we will get One UI 7 on the Galaxy A71. After all, this mobile phone officially will only be updated till Android 13. It will not get Android 14, not even Android 15. But if you want, you can unlock the boot order. You can flash the customized ROM almost stable rom and you can update the galaxy a71 4g to the uh, one ui 7 in your, and we can take benefits using the galaxy ai now those who have galaxy a71 4g they want to update like uh, flashing the customized rom you need to unlock the bootloader and watch the further video So here are the details also provided in my video description. This is Project Nerf, the official customized ROM for the Galaxy A71 4G. And uh, change log, if you can see that uh, in the earliest version, camera was crashing. It got fixed. Also, the light sensor got fixed. Face unlocking got fixed. Only the bugs that I can see in, is the NFC. Now, those who does not have to do with the NFC, they I'm pretty sure that they are going to love this ROM on the Galaxy A71. One. So links provided in my video description, we have to download the ROM file and the recovery file provided here in the description. Click the link, then download these two files and a few more files required, I will show you. So these are the files that I have already downloaded. The origin 3.13.1 doesn't matter if you have 3.14.1 or the lower version or the updated version, you can use the origin. Then the project nerf the version, if you can see 1.1.1 hopefully the updates will come in future then the twrp the provided recovery we have to download and yes we have to download the vb meta disable also if you can see that twrp actually having uh, img file so we have to flash the twrp tar file before flashing this one because the Odin will not recognize the .img extension. Odin will only recognize the .tar. So I copied the TWRP 3.6.2 which is in tar format to make the things easy. We will flash this uh, TWRP file first along with the VP meta. Then in the TWRP after booting it, then we will flash this one, right? Now starting the procedure. First, yes, we have to extract the Odin and one more thing if you haven't uh, installed the Samsung Android USB driver link provided download it and install it first on your Windows so the Windows will detect the drivers and detect the mobile phone so extract the Odin whatever version you have first in same folder then uh, open the extracted folder of the Odin double click the Odin file click OK on this pop-up window and on Odin click any slot. I will go for the AP slot. Then I will go to my downloaded folder. Then I will select TWRP 3.6.2 which have the extension .tar. Double click to select the file. Then click CP. Go back to the downloaded folder and click uh, double click the VB meta disable .tar file. Odin is almost ready coming back towards the mobile phone. Well I have flashed back the stock ROM. Well, I just want to show the procedure from the scratch. Now first of all like in case if you have done the factory data reset right now or if you have flashed the stock firmware back on the mobile phone there are a few things that we have to do first connect the internet on your mobile phone after that you need to check the mobile phone battery it must be charged if the mobile phone battery below 30 percent then uh, charge the mobile phone battery you need to save all the internal storage data must save all the data it will get formatted i will go to settings then i will go to about phone this is galaxy a71 model number is a715f oblique ds dual sim mobile phone dual sim set so both i mean number present over here right now mobile phone is on the one ui 5.1 this is the official stock firmware in y13 and basement number provided the kernel version and the build number the last alphabet or digit if you can see xb1 
Now on this screen, tap the build number for seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Developer mode has been turned on. I will go back. Then I will tap software update. Yes, we have to do it. Like as I said, if you have flashed back the stock firmware or if you have done the factory data reset, we have to do this step. Done. My mobile phone is already up to date. I will go back. Then I will go to the developer options uh, at the end of the settings. And you can see that OEM unlocking is now here. I just uh, flash the stock firmware back and uh, after flashing the stock firmware, it will take some time to uh, get the OEM unlocking back on the developer options. Well, my mobile phone bootloader is already unlocked. That's why the OEM unlocking is already turned on. In case if your mobile phone bootloader is locked, before unlocking the bootloader, you must turn on the OEM unlocking. We'll go back in case if you are using Samsung account, sync the Samsung account and uh, must remove it. And same way, sync the Google account and must remove it to avoid issues and turn off the lock screen by selecting swipe. Right. You have done these things. Simply power off the mobile phone. Always use a good quality of data cable. Check the other side of the data cable must be connected with computer. Check the mobile phone must be totally power off. Boot the phone into Odin mode. Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key. Connect the cable with the mobile phone. The warning screen will get appears and release both keys. Here we go, right? On the warning screen, press the volume up key once to boot the phone into Odin mode. Volume up key once again to light up the screen. And this is the Odin mode screen of my mobile phone. The KG state must show checking. The phone is booted into Odin mode connected already with the computer. On the computer screen, Odin already detected my mobile phone. On Odin, click options, untick the auto reboot, go back to lock, then click start to fl start flashing the recovery. Along with the VB, VB meter, pass means done, exit the Odin. Go back to downloaded folder, coming back towards the mobile phone. Mobile phone still booted into Odin mode. Check the data cable must be connected with computer. We have to boot the phone into custom recovery from the Odin mode. Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key and power key. Hold it press. When mobile phone reboots, release the volume down key first. Okay. Now when uh, you see Samsung logo, Release the power key. Wait for it like 10 to 15 seconds. And release the volume up key now. The phone will boot into TWRP. The TWRP custom recovery appears on my mobile phone and the internal storage also got appears on my computer screen. I will go to my downloaded folder and I will copy the TWRP erofs.img from the downloaded folder. Then I will go back to my internal storage of the mobile phone and I will paste the file on the internal storage. In my case, the file is not getting copied. Let me do one thing. Maybe it will work or if it still not working, then I have to format the partition. I will disconnect the cable first from the mobile phone. Then I will reconnect the data cable with the mobile phone. The storage will get appears once again. Then I will open the internal storage. Then I will try to now the file got copied, but it having a zero bytes. I delete the file. Let me refresh gone. And I will paste the file once again. Same thing is happening, which means that we have to format the data first. I will cancel it and then I will tap uh, wipe. Then I will tap format data. Type Y E S tap here. You can see the red lines. That is why I was getting issues. When done, go back to main screen, tap reboot, tap recovery. Recovery screen got appears once again. Internal storage also got appears once again on my computer screen. I now this time I will go back again to my downloaded folder and I will copy the twrp.img file and will go back to internal storage. And I can see the twrp folder. I will paste the file over here. This time it will get copied. Yes, you can see that. Now come back to the recovery screen, tap install and then tap install image. Select the TWRP file by tapping on it and select the recovery file. Yeah, like I mean to say recovery partition over here, then swipe to flash. When done, then go back to main screen, tap reboot, tap recovery. 
the recovery screen got appears once again on my mobile phone i can see that this is the updated version 3.7.0 before it was 3.6.2 something like that now bef uh, before going ahead i will do the format data partition once again tapping y tapping format data typing y e s or then tap here then when done go back to main screen tap reboot tap recovery okay recovery screen got appears once again i will tap settings then i, I will go to the third menu I will make the screen time out to maximum then I will go back to main screen the storage got appears on my computer screen this time I will go back to my downloaded folder once again and I will copy the project nerf one UI 7 portrait ROM the latest one for right now I will copy the ROM file from the downloaded folder then I will go back to my internal storage and I will paste the file the ROM file on the internal storage of the mobile phone we have to wait here so I got the ROM file on my internal storage of the mobile phone right now I am done from the computer coming back towards the mobile phone I can disconnect the cable from the mobile phone simply tap install select the ROM file by tapping on it and then swipe to start flashing it the flashing will take a time we have to wait here flashing turn tap reboot system the mobile phone will stay long on the samsung logo then it will start booting to the one ui 7 portrait rom the project nerf the first boot will take a time we have to wait well 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 finally first boot got ended and the one ui 7 welcome screen got appears on the galaxy a71 i will complete the setup screen things went very smooth and very well i'm so happy that uh, one ui 7 finally got released for the uh, a71 4g i and many users of was or were waiting to get the one ui 7 port these are the pre-default applications coming with the rom camera application provided and rest all application you can see not many samsung applications here but we can download after logging the samsung account and gmail account i will tap the settings let me make some change in fonts right now i will go to about phone so this is galaxy a71 model number is a715f both i mean numbers present i will tap the software information and this is the happy moments that uh, I can see the stable One UI 7 ROM on the Galaxy A71 4G having Android 15. Google Play system is supposed to be update and the base paint version provided and the build number if you can see project nerf 1.1.1 for the Galaxy A71. I will thanks to the developer who put the rom for the a71 after waiting for a long time well i will check the rom and after checking all the things like camera application how the rom is performing on the galaxy a71 4g and about the integrity then i will bring another video re related to that right thanks for watching do not forget to like the video subscribe my channel also take a good care of yourself goodbye